So here we are given a circuit described as a scrambler that takes a signal M of T and before modulating our analog signal, it scrambles it. And the question is asking to design a descrambler that will recover the original signal from X of T, obviously after demodulation. So in order to understand what a descrambler might look like, we need to understand what is it that's happening in this scrambler circuit. So we have two filters and two multipliers where we have a local oscillator at the carrier frequency and then another local oscillator at a frequency higher than the carrier frequency. So if we start with our input signal, M of T, in the frequency domain, that will be M of omega. And then we multiply that by a high frequency carrier. So this is essentially a DSB suppressed carrier modulator. So here we have DSB modulation. Or you can think of it as the frequency shift property or the modulation property of the Fourier transform. When you multiply a message or a signal by a cosine, what happens is the spectrum of this signal is shifted. So if we imagine our original spectrum to look something like this, so if M of omega looked like this with a sort of band limited to omega M, our modulating frequency. So if you imagine that your spectrum might look like this, then at A, after modulation, you would expect to have two copies of this, one at omega C and another copy at minus omega C. So this is what would happen at A. You would have these two copies. So essentially it's DSB modulation. Right, so our first step is DSB suppressed carrier. So that's this first step. Then we have a high pass filter with a cutoff frequency at omega C. So the high pass filter will pass the high frequencies and block the low frequencies. So we'll have something like this. So after the high pass uh, filter, this and this will be removed and we'll end up with these two. So this is what the signal looks like at the point B. So B is after the high pass filter. And then what we have is another modulator. So we have another high frequency carrier. This time it's at a frequency of omega C plus omega M, the message frequency. And then this time a low pass filter. So if you imagine that we now have this as our message, and this is going to be shifted up by omega C plus omega M. So this is omega C and this is omega M until here. So you would essentially have this shifted to there and this shifted to there. Now this would also be shifted in the negative direction and this would be shifted in the positive direction. So you'd still have higher frequency components. But essentially this maps to there and this maps to there. So that's at C, which is after the multiplier. But then after the low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of omega C, you have, this is omega C, so your low pass filter will look something like this. So 
the higher frequency components will be blocked and will only remain, what will remain will be the, the bits between minus omega n and omega m. So we'll end up with a band-limited baseband message or, or baseband signal that's a scrambled version of the original. So the original looked like that, but after scrambling, it looks like that. So it looks like the frequent, the spectrum of the message has been reversed. So remember, our original message had high a high amount of low frequency and a low power for high frequency. But after scrambling, you have low power for low frequency and high power for high frequency. So the message has been reversed. So the scrambler has essentially reversed the spectrum of our message. Now, the question was asking to design a descrambler. So how do I recover my original message back from this? Well, what you need to do is now reverse this again. So to reverse the spectrum again, you need a circuit very similar to the scrambler. Essentially, you need another scrambler. So the descrambler is essentially the same as the scrambler because it does the same thing. And this time, what we have here is our x of t and what we have at the output is m of t or at least a version of m of t. So again, what would happen at each of these stages would be exactly the same, and what we would end up with would be a reversed version, so it would be reversed back to that, and we would recover our original message. So the question asked to design a descrambler. So after doing this analysis, after we understand what the scrambler actually does, we can simply present the, the final answer as the descrambler being the same circuit as the scrambler. So I hope you found that helpful.